Here at Tormok, we love sharing our customer stories. So here's Loveland Creator Space, who's playing a big part in the Colorado Maker Movement. We really see this space as something where people come to build prototypes, and I mean, it's where we try and foster, teach them how to do it, give them the tools to do it, and hopefully they can start a business with it. It might just be tinkering, but you know, sometimes tinkering and doing something cool, people are like, you should start a business. That thing is pretty cool. And then they, they start other businesses. And... Yeah, well, I mean, we studied a lot of maker spaces. It was, we kind of got a list of equipment that we wanted and we found a tour mock and it was definitely high on our list. And we were very fortunate to be able to pick one of the, pick it up as our first major piece of equipment. We quickly grew to a lot more pieces of equipment, but again, this is a, it's definitely a center point. When people come here, they really like to come check this out. And I know when people even are looking for maker spaces in the area, it has been something that they've been pretty interested in. You know, it's a great small machine to teach people on. And what I like about it is, you know, compared to big machines, you know, they'll just destroy themselves if, they, if you make a mistake. This one might destroy your bit, might put a little ding in something, but it doesn't have the power really to just to destroy itself like a big machine does. So uh, we, we really, that's what we really like about it. You know, even with the bigger machine that we've got, we're gonna be teaching people on this one. And, you know, cause, just because like I said, you can do so much damage on a big machine yeah. well, to everything. So <laughs> I'd say the Tormox, the piece that drives people in here the most, which is one of the reasons why we like getting it as our first thing, you know, it's, um, and a lot of people who are really interested in it but have no clue how to, how to do any of this stuff. And so, you know, what we kind of want to do is allow them access to the machine, plus have a way of teaching them how to use it and how to be safe. And, you know, as well as showing them all the cool stuff you can do with it. One of the number one things, because we've got it all over our website, is people come to check out this machine. We've got a pretty good mix between artists and engineers, and they collaborate, as well as just like somebody who, like tinkerers, like people who love playing, playing with stuff. And so they'll, they'll come in here and they got ideas. We've got guys building bicycles where they've strapped motors onto them and all sorts of all sorts of interesting things where people are just they've got a little idea like a, we've got a guy who makes like fire breathing dragons out of here and a guy who makes these crazy LED suits that light up for performing arts oh and then of course battle bots we've got poison arrow who builds their their machines in here and broadcasts their machining operations right out of, out of here they'll, they'll hook cameras up sometimes when they're making their parts a lot of BattleBot parts were made right on this machine right here. So he lives far away and he drives all the way up to Loveland to come use this machine and to use our space. So a lot of people don't know what a maker space is. And so we're constantly explaining and we really kind of say that it's like a, it's like a gym for your mind is what we kind of, a, we've, a little term we've coined. I mean, really we just like, even when maker spaces sprout up anywhere else, we try and give them as much support we, as we can and try and explain to them what we've done and how we've grown to where we've grown, how we've gotten equipment donated. We are, I'd say we were very good at getting equipment donated. Uh, it's just never been a problem. So it, we, a lot of them look, we, we, we just, are, we've got a lot of stuff. Thanks for watching. Check out all of our latest videos here. And for more metalworking tips, tricks, and stories, subscribe to the YouTube channel.